a low welcome to this is October's um, embodied moon flow. So just as normal throughout the flow, we start with the tap, the finger rolls, the bouncing, all of that great stuff just to get the energy going. And then this flow kind of we worked on some of this before it took us going to walk backwards and forwards throughout this, I am sure. Um, some of this stuff we've done before, um, so it will not be brand new to you, it might just be from quite a few months ago. If you are brand new to the embodied movement workout, then this will be brand new to you. Um, so, the first move is a roll down. I'm going to do each part twice and in the add-on structure that we usually go for. So I roll down, we're looking for that spinal movement, taking each bit of the spine individually to create that full roll. Our key points are chin to chest, and then we're rolling through that chest of our upper body, so we're pushing that back, sternum, belly button, and then hips. And then we roll down as far as you feel comfortable, and then squeeze your butt, Pull your belly button and roll back up in the reverse order. Like so. Now we're going to add that squat in there. So this is our test for this one. It's a good one to always look into to see if you are getting that improvement both the forward bend and the squat depth. Cheers, Tugs. As always with the squat deck, it's up to you to go as far as you can. Try and keep your heels on the floor and we're switching your hips with your head. Once again. And back up. Now following this, we're going to take it to that wide stance and we're going to take it into that floor. So this is some of the stuff that we have been doing over the last few months um, and hopefully this should benefit your movement. So we're going to go roll down, squat, stand, wider stance, and we're taking a big breath in and out, and in, and across, and in. And cross and in, and we're leaning to the left, pushing to the right, and in, and in, then swimming dragon. So we're going to push through the left arm, pulling the right arm back, and then in. From this point, we're going to take it, we're going to make a turn or a rotation into it to take us down to that lunge. And then we're going to do lunge, deep and then we're going to do all the floor work together. So again, after each aspect, we reassess.
rotation. So I'm going to rotate round and round, lowering down and matching the knee up. From here, this leg, closest leg to me, we're going to wrap round into that side sit and I'm collapsing down. Right, so from this point, I'm going to go into my side lying sequence. So why did I do this? We talk around. Once I'm in the side lying position, I can use my arm to lean on, bending the knees, and I'm going kicking forward, up, rotate, back down. Once again, kicking forward, up, rotate, and down. Like so. After that, I'm going to roll over into that position and I've got the reaches. Like so. From this point, I'm going to pop my toes under, so my back foot, lift my hips, slide in. And then I'm back to that knee up. From this point, I'm going to repeat what I just did. So I'm going to go swinging knee back. This leg's going to wrap round. And then I'm in that full position. Lifting the ribs, twist on the breather out. Then from there, match up for that butterfly sit. In this position from here to restart, we can get up however we want. And then we go through again. So I've reassessed my roll down my squat. stance. Opposite way on my lunge, down, match the knee, take it round into that side sit, reaching over. Into that side line sequence, bent knees, kick, up, rotate and down. Then pushing the back leg, this lower leg out, rolling into that base leg position, and then going reaches. From here, tucking that back to under, popping the hips up, turning the knee in, back into that kneeling position, like so. Back to that side sit. Wrap the knee round, twisting round, breathe in with ribs, breathe out and rotate. Then finishing off, bring it in. That sit, we can sit here for a while now. Take it into that relaxation. Take it into a good amount of time of just breathing, allowing the outward breath to be longer than the inward. But again, it doesn't matter how long that is. It can be one second in and two, three seconds out. 
all the way up to some ridiculous number you can breathe for. Just make sure that it's doable for you. It's not stressful. It's just nice and relaxed. So that outward breath is just slightly longer than the in. Good. Thank you for joining us. I even Carl and Tucker down there in the end. Um, that is your October floor. It's especially great for the week that I am away at the end of October for the school holidays. Um, enjoy.